This is Steve Ridgell, and if you're like me, you really want to remember Bible verses. You want to remember what connects things so you can, well, maybe talk to somebody about Jesus. Maybe you can talk to a fellow believer about how we ought to live. Maybe you need to remind yourself how we ought to live. And so you just wish you could remember how all these verses, where they are and how they tie together. So I like it when I find little connectors, little hints, little things that are easy to remember that help me recall verses. And so I'm going to tell you one that I use today. And if you can remember John 3.16 and that it connects to 1 John 3.16. So it's a pretty easy memory thing. John 3.16, 1 John 3.16. And here's why they connect and why they're helpful. John 3.16 is that famous passage that talks about that God so loved the world that he gave his only son. So if we believed in him, we would not perish, but have eternal life. That's a great verse on so many levels. It's a great verse for me to remember that God loved me so much that he gave his son for me. And because I believe in his son, I'm gonna live forever. That's a great reminder for me. It's a great verse to use with non-believers. Here's what I wish you would know and believe, that God loved you so much that he let his son die for you so that you wouldn't have to perish, but you could live forever if you just believe in his son. That, that's a, a great verse. And then I tie it to 1 John 3.16 because that verse talks this way. Here's how we understand. Here's how we know what love is, that he laid down his life for us. So we ought to lay down our life for our brothers. Well, that reminds me how I live as a Christian, that I live in community with others. But I give my life for them because Jesus gave his life for me. That's love. And I know that because, well, how much God loved me, that his son died for me. So I connect, though. That, that's a great way when people say, well, what's the Christian life about? And there are any number of ways to do that, but sometimes I just type, John 3.16 and 1 John 3.16, that part of living as a Christian is to live in community, loving your fellow believers enough that you would die for them, lay down your life for them. And maybe that means more than just physically die. Maybe that means pour out your life helping others, especially believers. And so, John 3.16, God loved you so much that he gave his only son so that if you believed in him, you would not perish, but have eternal life. Until you get to that, until you get on the other side, till you get to heaven. While we are here, we understand what love is because of what God did for us when Jesus died for us. And because we understand that, then we pour out our lives to others. So, if we're all learning that verse, if you decide to follow Jesus, you do not have to live life by yourself. There are people surrounding you that would lay down their life for you as you would for them because we understand love because of what Jesus did when God sent him to die for our sins. John 3.16, 1 John 3.16. This is Steve Ridgell trying to remember those verses today.